Double A Northeast League Baseball is on the air. Tonight, the second of three to start the week between the Altoona Curve and the Binghamton Rumble Ponies. The Rumble Ponies are looking to collect their eighth win in a row. Next. I'm a selfish man. That's just the way. Gerald Hayden. He went beat last night twice. Let's go. Looking to wiggle out of this. Here it is. And that's a base on, hit in the on, center field. On, and they're on the board as now it's a 2-1 ball game. Well, you know, in today's game, d -roll, pitches are being caught high velocity. Go get ahead and strike one. Boy, that didn't work in that situation. Yeah, and guys have such put-away pitches, Dan. You don't want to go super deep in the count. Find yourself with two strikes on you, and here comes a nasty slider or a nasty split finger. He had an approach right there. He wanted to use an ambush tactic, and it worked. So next to bat will be Khalil Lee. The base knock to the outfield could score the tying run from second. A pause and the 0-2 down the first baseline. And he'll step on the bag himself and the inning is over. So one run on two hits, no errors, and two left. We'll go on to the top of inning number two. The curve lead it two to one. Digging in will be now Gerald Hayden. He collected a base hit his first time up. Hayden. He's set. Here it comes. Slap hard the opposite way. A dive and oh, he can't hang on. Well, that's something you see often in batting practice. Guy is using the whole field there, Dero. I like to see that a lefty that's just not always pull happy. 100% Dan. The pitchers have gotten so much nastier in today's game that if you're not willing to play with the entire field, you're going to struggle. No left field. So stepping in is Khalil Lee trying here to flake the tying run from second. Lifted in the air out to left. Sable comes in a few steps as he hauls it in for the first out. Next to hit is Freddie Link grounded out in his last at bat. Here's the pitch on two and two. Grounded to the right. Go, 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 One there. Oh, oh, but an offline feed to the pitcher, and they can't complete the turn. Shot that one up as an E6. Digging in, the switch now hitter, Gerald Payton, singled in his last at bat. Payton. First delivery to him. Effort is it's off his glove, and not really much of a chance to recover there as he'll reach first on what undoubtedly will be scored as an infield single. Stepping in next, Khalil Lee. Now, he's 0 for two Left thus field. far in this one. Before the 0 1, he'll check on first, and the runner back safely. Hayden, base runner at first with one out. And another throw over. And a dive, but he's back in there. From the belt, kicks and deals. This one's flared off to the right side. Alamez takes charge out there, and he stays with it for the second out. Now with the plate is Freddie right Link. Fielder, number 31. Freddie. Throw over the first. No, and he get dirty, but he's back in safely. Comes set and the 0-1. Hit the other way out toward right field. 
Madris able to track it down for the third out. A run on two hits and they leave one. We're through six full and Binghamton is out in front three to two. And now in the box, Gerald Hayden is working on a three hit ball game right now. Set and the pitch. Softly hit toward the hole. He's got it to second for one. And a good save at first on the offline throw, but they just get one. Well, he definitely rushed himself on that return throw to first there, and he threw it away. They got the force at second, and the runner didn't advance, so it'll just be score to fielder's choice. Digging in next, Khalil Lee. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Out of the stretch, the 3 2 home. Swing and a miss, and that's out number three. But the tying run has come across here as we're set up for an exciting finish. We played eight full, and we are tied 4 4. You might think it's just another win, but it's awfully hard to win in this game especially on the road, but they find a way to get it done, and they should be very happy with this performance. And this ball game ends at a 9-4 final score. The curve came through, and it mattered in the ninth on the way to the win.